<laughs> My name is Rose Bote. I'm from Cameroon. I am a PhD student at the Grenoble College of Management. So I am doing a PhD so that I can actually teach at the university. So it boils down to I'm going to be a teacher at the end. Hello, my name is Deepak and I'm from Turkey. I chose Jam because I really like the research environment at Jam and also I really like this city. It's very peaceful here. Welcome to the, the Gem Labs. This is like a, an interactive space for students from Grenoble Ecole de Management. So this is like the second campus and we have three main labs within the same building. We have the team lab, we have the playground and then we have the beast lab. So right now I will introduce you to the team labs. So if you can come along with me. Welcome to the team labs. So this is a lab that is geared towards design thinking, towards innovation. The entire room can be controlled with this in terms of the lighting and the music in the different sections. And actually you can actually create a whole ambience in the particular section that you're working. Well, it has been found uh, through research that that particular kind of lighting is very good, it's a good stimuli for innovative thinking. GEM was founded in 1984 by the Chambers of Commons. GEM is unique for its internationalism because right now, like in my cohort, there is no French student. So we are from all over the world. So, so after the debrief area, after the debriefing, we come into the, the explore. The coolest thing I've done so far for my PhD is I've written my first paper because I have to do a three papers dissertation. I've written my first paper and I am more or less proud of what I found, uh, the results I got from my first paper. We then move over to the ideation phase. It's a very relaxed setup. Like participants are encouraged to let loose. This is kind of like formalizing creativity. Like all the ideas that you had, like from everywhere you put it together, try to paint a coincise picture. You can get out of your shoes, slip into something more comfortable, sit on the floor, but all we need is for the creative juices to flow. Uh, I speak three languages, English, French, and Norwegian, because I did my master's in Norway. This is where we just don't talk about the problem, we actually, there's a solution, we build the solution. You can paint the solution if you want, you can actually build it with Legos, People, people interact more and people engage more with what they can touch rather than what they hear. At this stage, we already have like a working solution. That is kind of what is done here in the team lab. And actually this lab is not just for like student pro project. It's actually mostly for companies that have particular issues. So they might either bring their workers here to work as a team in going through the problem or sometimes they bring it as a problem and GEM Labs is in charge of getting students to work on it. So students actually come here and go through the process to develop a solution for the company. So that's it for the Team Labs. In a broader sense, we try to solve managerial and business problems related to society at GEM. So there is a room for creativity in research, so I like them. Today, I'm going to show you the Biz Lab. In this lab, we do experimental consumer research. So this lab consists of four sections, which are a living room, a shopping city, a retail store, and a supermarket. Let's have a look together. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the first section. This is the living room. Basically, in this lab, we provide a real life experience to the participants and we observe their behavior. We can show them some particular ads or some particular stimuli. So we can play with the color, we can play with the video here, we can play with the lights in this room, and also the smell. We all have cameras in this room, so we can observe what kind of behaviors our participants engaging with. Basically, the purpose of this room to prime our participants and to provoke some emotion. I chose Jam because I really like the research environment at Jam and I really like the team in which I'm doing my thesis. It's the consumer behavior team. So this is the shopping street that we try to give them a real shopping street experience so there's this screen that detects very basic demographics such as age gender this is the supermarket part of the lab that is designed by the support of ocean it, it really looks like a real supermarket uh, we see some real products coming from uh, the ocean and with real barcodes after i get my phd i will continue research i will be a professor somewhere else in the world who knows but yeah, I will continue research, that's for sure. The coolest thing that I did so far in my PhD 
ADHD. This is very difficult. I didn't quit so far, maybe. <laughs> This is the last part of the lab. This is a retail store. It has products from a real French brand, a ski brand. In this setting, we basically have some smart try-in rooms. So I can see some information about the price. I can see some number of likes here uh, coming from a social media. So this is a very helpful tool for us to conduct experiments. Most of the technology that you see here is developed by the partners of Giant. We are really happy for this partnership. Thanks for visiting the Biz Lab with me. And bye. <laughs> <laughs> right now, for this academic year 2020, GEM has over 90 researchers. Right now, we are 30 PhD students because one student just graduated uh, one month ago. Okay, so now we are at the playground. This is kind of like a space where students and company workers can actually come and do serious games. It's kind of used to solve managerial problems, day-to-day -day working problems. So let me introduce you to the GEM playground. We have several, you see it's an open space and you can either sit in the form of like a, the office setup or you can actually have a more relaxed setup to, to actually go through the game. Why, why is it a serious game? It's a serious game because you actually get to play it. So you actually take a business problem and you play around with it. This is something that encourages people to think. If I play the game, like if I pick this card, so my name is Kevin, I'm a three-year-old, which is who is very curious. So it basically the card gives you a personality. So you assume the role of your personality and then you try to create, like solve the problem at hand from the perspective of a three-year-old who is very serious. So this is very like interesting for companies that provide the service to the public, like SNCF. Growing up is best for me in the winter. I don't ski. <laughs> But I think it's just cooler in the winter because in the summer it's very airlocked and it's extremely hot, which is not my style. You can see like the de deco in here, it's like a lot of space, space related deco, which kind of gives you that impression of nothing is crazy. No idea is crazy. Like if it's an alien, it definitely exists in here. So that's the fun of it. It gives you this kind of like freedom to, to, to innovate and to like every creative thought it's a valid thought. It's just an open space and you get to walk at your own pace. You can use any of the corners. That's the good thing about it. You don't have like a very structured way of walking. It's a very open space, but all they have to do is interact with the games and come up with a good solution. Oh, my favorite emoji is this cat smiling emoji. <laughs> <laughs> So this is it for the visit of the Gem Lab. See you on the Giant Campus. See you at the Giant Campus. <laughs> okay, mic off. <laughs> <laughs>